What is the state of pre-K in Indiana? Right now we have what's called On My Way Pre-K, which is for four-year-olds, specifically from low-income families. Right now it's in five Indiana counties, which are Allen, Jackson, Lake, Marion, and Vandenberg. So we're making a lot of progress, and it's still a limited program. Kids are getting better prepared, they're ready. The next step is to make sure that more kids have access to those high-quality programs. Right now, seven out of 10 Hoosier families don't have access to one of those programs. And then when you even look at it, some of our rural counties, not only do they not have access to high quality programs, the access is just sometimes non-existent at all. So the next step is to improve access as well as to improve quality. We know that of all the programs we know about, and, and we don't know about all of them admittedly, so of the known programs, only one in five currently meets the state's quality requirements. So there's long-term education, economic, and workforce development strategy benefits to pre-K. We just need to expand access to those high-quality programs throughout our state. What is the value of pre-kindergarten for students and the state? Well, assuming it's high quality, the value is quite significant. And again, we can't stress enough that key, that quality is the key. So we know that the kids that have access to high-quality pre-K start kindergarten ready to learn. And so they actually have better graduation rates, They're, they go further in their future education, their lifetime earnings go up, their lower crime rates, and their lower teen birth rates. So those are things we would want for all of our kids. Now, there has been some research that said if it is not high quality, those benefits do fade. So it's really important that you make sure you scale up in the state in a way that really focuses and puts a great importance on that quality pre-K. Now, as far as the real numbers of cost-benefit ratio, there was some new information that came out just in December that talked about the return on investment with pre-K education. And there was a Nobel Prize economist, Heckman, that is well known, that said there's a 13% annual return on investment in pre-K. So that's a pretty high return rate. For those of us talking about returns on investment, 13% is great. As far as Indiana goes, Early Learning Indiana says that we can get $4 back. It's estimated we'll get $4 back for every $1 invested in quality pre-K programs. What does research tell us about expanding pre-K programs? We know that as far as expansion goes, quality is the key. And again, we'll say quality, quality, quality is more important even than fast expansion. We know the demand is there to expand, but we need to pay attention to all the elements that lead to high quality programs. We do need that capacity throughout the state in order to be able to have this success for all of our kids. We also need to, to focus on the whole child. It needs to be affordable and accessible to all. Right now, because it is not accessible and because we don't have enough of those quality programs, it really are the, it's the individual families that are bearing the burden. For a family living in poverty, 42% of their annual income can be spent on this high quality care. Think about that, 42% is a tremendous burden on some of these families. So we need federal, state, and funding to offset those costs for low income and middle class families so that we can make sure all of our kids are ready to succeed in school. How can parents ensure their child is in a high quality program? The first thing is to look at that path to quality rating. Our state has, a, has an accreditation tool in place. So when you're looking at schools, ask them first and foremost, where do they stand on that? You need to also go beyond that and actually go for yourself. Take a Go to a visit, look around, see if the kids are at learning centers, see if they're engaged, if they're high energy. You wanna make sure the teachers also have hopefully that accreditation and a degree in early childhood education. Talk to them about what do they do for ongoing training for their teachers. Again, you want to see that one-on-one -on -one time for your child and the teacher, small groups and whole groups. So it's not just one of those things all day long, but a mix of those that will make for a high-quality program. Kids should be learning when they're in pre-K, they should be learning through play. This isn't a high school classroom where they sit and have papers or iPads or those kinds of things. They need to be up and moving. They learn through movement a lot of times at this age. They don't need to be doing all the same thing and they need a chance to play outside. If you have any concerns, follow up on those. You as the parents need to trust your instincts and make sure that you're finding that high quality pre-K program for your child. 